I'm doing a coupon focused video. This is different from what I usually do and yes I have glasses on <laughs> um because I just finished cutting some new ones for this week out. So today's video is going to be <laughs> today's video is going to be all focused around getting yourself a binder and getting the coupons organized and plus some of the deals that I have um, pulled off in the past um, week starting to kind of build up my stockpile. So um, this is my binder. It's black because I think black looks the most professional and I just like the fact that I could get some of those metallic sharpies and kind of draw on them and then you can see I have um, some pink tabs that label. So the organizer that I use in my binder are these clear trading card holders. So I got mine at Staples and as you can see they open up at the top. Um, they don't open from both sides though. So if you're going to have them showing from both sides you just got to do one facing you then one facing away from you. So that way you can see um, both of the coupons through one sheet. They're pretty pricey. They're like $4.97 for five of them. I have about 20 I think. So, yes, and then I have mine separated into the following categories. Next, hair care and hair styler, beauty medicine and vitamins, toiletries, condiments, cereal cleaners, food, pets, drinks, and household. And then all the coupons are underneath a category and they fall into that category. So for example, if I flip to the toiletries, there are some subcategories with this colorful um, limited edition scotch tape that we had. So this one says oral, that one says soap, toilet paper, razors, antiperspirant, pads and tampons. <laughs> And yeah, so I just have all of those. And then these are just all the copies of the Nivea, the Nivea coupons that came out a while ago, but they don't expire till 9 7. So I've got like, all of these, so they need their own uh, little pocket. So that's my main source of organization. And then what I keep in the pockets, I keep my. Um, I keep some extra envelopes, some envelopes with um, coupons in them, obviously. Um, this one has all the coupons that I just got today, um, just from our two inserts that we got in our one Sunday newspaper. We are not, like, crazy about couponing yet. Um, not yet. Not yet. I have like a dream of being on extreme couponing and I was just researching how to get on the show. They still air the show but there's no um, way to like audition to be on it which made me really sad so I'm hoping maybe somebody will see the video and know what to do because I will be the youngest person to ever be on there and I really want to be on there because I love coupons and I want to do this like for the rest of my life. I don't know why. I think it's pretty weird like most teenagers like get excitement for and I don't like that thing. I've never even tried it, so I don't... Okay, I'm not going to get into that. Like, they get excitement from partying and adrenaline from, like... I'm not going to say I don't get adrenaline from shopping, but I love my coupons. So much. Also in the pocket, I keep my printables. Um, these are ones that you can print off apps. I keep my shopping list, which is pretty short right now. And then I've got three extra pages from an insert that I haven't uh, cut out yet. In the back, more um, extra pages. Here in New York, our price chopper actually doubles all manufacturer's coupons that are an original value of 99 cents or less. Um, so if you have a dollar of coupon, I'm pretty sure they deduct it down to 99 cents and then double to $1.98. I'm not completely sure though, but I know Walmart doesn't double coupons, so even though they're the best price, I'm going to be getting a better price if I'm using a coupon that's doubled. So tips for binders is get something durable. Like, um, the reason I like black is because it just, it looks sleek and it just, I don't know, when I think black I think tough. <laughs> this is the brand, took the sticker off so I don't know. Um, 
probably Avery. Five star is good. Five star is really good, but it's super expensive. But mine is only, I think, one or one and a half inches. So, sorry, I keep turning white. <laughs> I remember when I first got those, like, trading card holders, I thought, okay, I'm just going to put all my coupons in randomly. It's going to be great. I can see them all. I had them double-sided. I can see them all. I'm just going to, if I need one, I'm just going to flip through and find it. It was terrible. The first time I went to the store, um, actually, with my um, binder, it we were there for like an hour and a half because I was trying to find something like to be a filler, um, like a deal to get because it was a promotion. It was like $5 off $25 and I was trying to find some kind of sale to get that discount without like spending it on like one thing. So I was at like $22 and I needed to find something. I was flipping through. The first thing I thought of was toothpaste, but then I had already gotten some toothpaste. Then I'm like, okay, pads, no, I already got those. And I was just flipping through my binder and I couldn't find anything because it was so disorganized. So definitely use labels. Like it's so easy for me now. Like if I want something out of condiments, I just like literally flip through and I'll find it. And I have some things on the same page, some of it's kind of awkward. My cleaners, um, they kind of bleed into my snacks, so I don't want to be buying a Jesus and then grab some laundry detergent because gulp. I have my cereal with my condiments. It's kind of weird, but I mean with the label, I just grab onto the label and flip to the page. So I don't really find the need or have the need to have it like with food because it's just like I'm gonna flip to it anyway so like I said definitely recommend the labels I'd even have to pay money for the like the labels like all I did was we have these mini sticky notes I cut them in threes and then boom instant labels so you don't need to like go to Staples and buy some fancy labels because sticky notes work fine so now on to some of the deals that I have achieved this week and then I'm gonna give you guys some exciting news for me probably not excite exciting for you but I just want to share my exciting news with you so the first deal that I got was at CVS and it was on these three tubes of Crest Complete toothpaste so I got three of them obviously and um, the promotion or sale that they were running was buy to get one free they were 375 um, each I had um 50 cent off coupon but it was still 325 um and then I got one free next I have more toothpaste this is the Colgate sparkling white and this was on sale at price dropper 10 for 10 which is a dollar each I had a 50 cent off coupon that they doubled to a dollar so this was free I just had to pay tax on it obviously okay so this is the next um deal I guess you could call it this is the secret invisible solid it's still new because I keep it in my um, stockpile but um it's the invisible solid Ooh la la lavender so these retail for about $5.99 at CVS and that's really expensive I used um, a store coupon that I got out of their magic coupon printer and then I used um, two or three dollars off Whatever that is, it was um, $1.99. Next thing I wanted to show you that I got was with a coupon. That's the exact same thing as this, except for the amount off. It looks, whoop, gotta cover that barcode. <laughs> it looks, mm, not gonna use that finger. <laughs> um, it looked just like this, except it was save $3. And I think the reason why they dropped it down was because they knew a bunch of people were getting razors for free with that coupon. So they dropped it down just because people so greedy. Well, the company is greedy because they don't want anyone to get anything free, first of all. And people were greedy because they were buying like 200 of them. So obviously that drove the company over the edge. I mean, I saw, like I was going to get, I'm not going to lie, I was going to get 10 extra copies off of eBay. Um, I saw one, someone was selling um, a pack of 100 of them. So, I mean, that's going to make a company not want to let you get any free. So, I got these ones. These are the kind of cheapy, I mean, they're the big sensitive shaving razors. 
in a pack of 12, so they're just orange. These retailed at Walmart. I went to Walmart because price shopper wouldn't have doubled the $3 off anyway. So, um, these retail for $2.82. These, however, are the ones that me and my aunt like, the Silky Touch. But these retailed for $3.18. So even with the coupon, I'd still be paying for them, which I hate paying for stuff, honestly. So, um, if I can, if I know I can get something free, I was like, I will not get it if I have, like, another option to get a different kind of it free. My aunt was like, oh, you're not going to get these ones. And I'm like, no, because these ones are free. They'd actually be a money maker if I had gotten um, the same, like, if I had gotten two of these instead of that one and that one. But then I just decided to make her happy. And I realized that the overage on this one would actually cover the 18 cents on this one. So then I got these completely free, just had to pay, um... 42 cents in tax on them. The next deal I have is the Suave um, deodorants, the powder 25 protection. This is the 1.4 ounce. These retail for a dollar and I had a 25 cents off coupon, doubled to 50 cents. So I got each of these for 50 cents. I got three of them. And then I just wanted to show you guys this coupon that actually came in today's Sunday paper. Today is August 24th. And it's Sunday, obviously. Well, that here we get our, um, we get our, um, we get our papers on Sunday here. For save 50 cents on any one carefree product. As you can see, there is no size restriction. And I had one of these not too long ago. And, um, I got a really mini size of it that I'll show you in a second. It doesn't expire until 10 5, 14. Read through all the small print, nothing says anything about um, a size restriction. So go ahead and find yourself these 97 cent um, pack of 20. Yeah, maybe there's 20 in here. Um, so yeah, go ahead and find these at Walmart. They're 97 cents, at least where I live. And then you can um, put this with it and you would be only paying 47 cents. Or you could check Price Shopper. It's probably gonna be a little bit more expensive there. But at least it'll double to a dollar, so you might be getting a better deal in the end. So that is all the deals I have to show you right now. And now on to the good news. So I have been pestering my aunt for like a month and a half about letting me go dumpster diving for coupons in a recycle bin. Like, you know those green bins that don't like nasty garbage in them or anything? Um, it's all paper. So I've been bugging her like crazy to let me go and um, just see if I could get anything. And last night I did this thing where I actually made a letter and I've sent, I've been sending her videos like of people dumpster diving on YouTube, like forwarding them to her. And I wrote her this letter that said, Hi, I am from the coupon agency and I have been notified that you have two videos and you haven't watched them. If you do not let Aubrey go dumpster diving, you will be placed in coupon jail for breaking rule number 1445, jeopardizing the savings of a minor. So, um, then my uncle kind of talked her into it, so we think on Tuesday I am going dumpster diving. And if you think that's gross, I really don't care. I'm going to be wearing gloves and it's all paper, so I really don't mind. <laughs> That's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.